Hey, welcome to Live from Dennis's House. Today, we are spotlighting the Welcome Back Kata sitcom of the 70s and John Travolta. Look at that. Yay. I don't know which way to put that picture. And this is his, uh, it wasn't even his debut album. I think this was his second album from 1976. So we're not even going to waste any time. Steven, we're going to get right into it with our long distance dedication. And we're going to dedicate this song to Hotsy Totsy. Yeah, that's so. my name. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I asked uh, Nick, the uh, engineer, if he knew about Welcome Back, Kata, And he did not, but he did hear of John Travolta. So we're going to... Tell everybody everything you wanted to know about Welcome Kata and more, and this guy. So let's start it off with Letter In by John Travolta. Nice. We'll be right back. Well, let's, this is our first show back with Steven after the Christmas break. We haven't seen him in about a month. Bells. So uh, he, everybody looks like they're a little sick and run down. <laughs> I, uh, I am drinking tea. I have 107. Mm. No, actually, last time I took it, it was 111, Steven, oh. my <laughs> fever. <laughs> 111. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and you said your voice is going in and oh, out too. Yeah, no. I sound like Brenda Vaccaro. Remember? <laughs> I know who that is. Most people do yes. not no. know who Brenda Vaccaro no. is, but you know she was like famous actress, but nobody knows why because Her voice. Yeah, but like what show or movie would she I, ever in? Nobody knows. I think she was tampon a... commercial. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, she was uh, not Maxi that. Pad. I think it was feminine. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> products. Yes, Stop that's it. all we need to say. <laughs> all right, we can't it. say that. Can't say feminine products on TV. So, but look at my cool cup. Since I'm sick, I have to drink tea out of a Audrey oh. Hepburn cup. Can't no, get you, more macho than that. That's what I say. Yes. yes. So, anyway, I want to talk it's about now. Oh, yeah. So, let's talk about your holidays and Christmas. Anything eventful? Did you have a nice time? I think I did. <laughs> I, you know, it's so long. I know. It's so brother. long. That's the thing. When you have such a long right. break, right. you can't even remember everything you did. Like, but you know what you know, we did for New Year's? We drove the kids to places. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's basically, that? That, that's, that's your life. Imagine our parents doing that for us <laughs> for New Year's when we're teenagers. <laughs> I'll drive you to some parties. I'll pick you up at 4 a.m. Of course. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh my yeah, that God. never happened. That's really true. No. It's a whole yeah. different world. We didn't world. want them to. Right. No, right. right. I wouldn't even dream it. Yeah. 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 So, it's a different uh, world. Me and Chacha went to Times Square. Mm -hmm. We got there at oh, 6 yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Wow. We had diapers on and right. we stood in oh, line that, behind I all these Japanese tourists. I always think about that. What are you doing about the bathroom? <laughs> That, I think that's, that's what you do. That's what I heard. Go. A lot of people, they get there at 6 in the morning to get a good spot, and they just pee on themselves in diapers oh. all day. And then it freezes, so yes, it's not so yes. bad. <laughs> so that's it's horrible. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and then, of course, we already talked about Mariah Carey last week, oh, so we're not oh, even going to get yes. into that oh, again. You guys saw that? You witnessed that live? Yeah. No, I didn't. No, no, not live. Of course not. Oh, no, right, we, oh. we, we talked about it the last week's show. Right, yeah. okay. That, um, yeah, so uh, Gina could not make it tonight. I yeah, wanted to I'm talk so to her. She was a big uh, Welcome Back Kata fan, Absolutely. big uh, yes. John Travolta fan. Yes. Plus, she's a huge fan of the person who I went to see the other night. I went, I covered the Melissa Etheridge oh, yeah. concert. Yeah. I, heard this. I heard about this. And it was at the State Theater. It was an excellent concert. And I had my one line from it is there was no line at the men's room. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> I was truly, That's I was awesome. like a handful of guys. Yes. The place was packed. <laughs> and I was really, I, I could count on my hand how many guys were there. Wow. And, uh, but the concert was great. She looked great. She sounded great. Her band was great. And I was very surprised at this, that she is an excellent guitar player. That oh. she is a lead guitarist, wow. you know? I you don't know see girls either. doing no. that very often. But you <laughs> never knew Melissa Etheridge did that, right? No. Who knew? Who are these people? I <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so anyway, and it was great. But um, And I had front row again. <laughs> it was awesome. Wow. Front and row. It was like, yeah, I can't even explain how good it was. The music was enveloping me, and I was surrounded with all these women. And uh <laughs> Was Nick here for the show when you left me? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> This time I, I didn't have, have to. I would have told the story again. Chacha did not go to Melissa no, so I, I it was on my own. I could yes. go wherever I wanted she was smart to. This time, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So um, one place I didn't worry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, it was a great show, and um, it's just the fans are very intense. It's like I don't know how to explain it. Like when you go to other concerts, uh, the fans love the artists, right? But this was like 
not just uh, it was like they were actually in love with they, yeah. Melissa Etheridge. Well, they, are, they were just so yeah. moved and they were so happy and everybody was having a good time. Yeah. Oh, except yeah, there was I got a guitar pick. She personally handed me yeah. a signed guitar oh, pick. Too. The place. Yeah. <laughs> and then um oh there was trouble though when she handed a um drumstick into the crowd and there was these girls. It was a little to my right, so I reached over to get it, but there was these two big girls there <laughs> and they both got a hold of it and they they were wrestling oh, each other, no. so I said, I, uh, I'm, "I'm out of this yeah. one. <laughs> this is a lose lose situation yeah, for me." Yeah. yeah, I'll be happy with my guitar pick. Nice. I had a very nice time, so Good. I will be giving that a three thumbs up uh, nice. in my review. Three thumbs. <laughs> Did you ever have three thumbs up before? <laughs> no, oh, how yeah, painful that could be. I went to visit my uncle in prison. That time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you missed that too. Last week we discussed about Charlie uh, Manson yeah. being in the hospital. Of- uh, oh, yes. I didn't even know uh, about this. And Squeaky wrote a letter, the long distance dedication to get well to uh, wow. Manson. We talked about that. So a lot of stuff going on. Now let's get back to the theme of the show and let's start talking about Welcome Back, Carter, everybody's favorite show from 1975. <laughs> yes. So uh, yes, yeah, so it was a sitcom on ABC from September 1975 to May 1979. Only four seasons, surprisingly. Mm, mm. But uh, not all of those were good. So we'll we'll get into that in a minute. But the uh, premise of it, it was uh, the star of the show was Gabe Kaplan. And it's very confusing because the character's name is Gabe Cotta. Ah, But the guy's name was Gabe Kaplan, who was a very famous stand-up comedian. So he played this wise-cracking teacher, Gabe Cotta, who returns to his old alma mater, James Buchanan High School in Brooklyn, to teach a bunch of slackers. Known as the Sweat, Sweat Hogs, Hogs, right? So, and Gabe Kaplan actually grew up in Brooklyn and he went to high school. And most of these characters were based on people that he knew and oh, he talked yeah. about them in his uh, stand up yes. routine. Yes, and that's how that. the show came about. So, yes. you know, and the, the famous, I, I bet you would love this part about it that before and at the end of each show, he would tell like an old yes. corny joke and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that was my she favorite would laugh. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, I should have told you to bring a, I a still, classic. I still you have remember a, you have a one? couple of them. Is that right. crazy? At the end, you can uh, okay. tell one of them Don't at forget. least. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, like you said, you mentioned his wife, uh, Julie Cotter, played yes. by Marsha Strassman. Right. She was originally from Nebraska, and they lived in this tiny <laughs> apartment in yes. Brooklyn. And the sweat hogs would show up <laughs> and the window. come through the yes. window yes. unannounced. And... <laughs> And they slept on the pull-out couch. Apartment. They didn't yeah. have a bedroom. That, that, <laughs> right. that was a pull-out couch. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And uh, can you imagine that a man being so involved with the students that they would come to his apartment? <laughs> yeah. That was uh, yeah. Yeah. So that well, would have been a whole new show if it was remade now, I got to say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a <laughs> It's lot. like uh, something called Welcome to Prison, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they always made a joke about her cooking and especially her tuna casserole. Yes. Yes, the famous tuna right. casserole. Yeah. Right, right. I, did so. she cook like on an ironing board? <laughs> <laughs> was it I don't her remember. kitchen counter? Yeah, I think. Uh, I'm yeah. not sure. So, um, and the, let's name the sweat hogs now. Okay. Um, uh, Vinny Barbarino mm. was played by John he Travolta, used to make of me course. Tingle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was his t- TV debut, yes, and he was the breakout <laughs> star of the show, unofficial leader of the sweat hogs, right. by the way. So, right. you know, he was the ladies' man, and the f- most famous episode that I remember of him when he would sing Ba 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 right? Yes. right. Yes. <laughs> that was classic. Ba, ba, and did you know that's how this album got recorded? That uh, some guy was watching it and he heard him singing Ba 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 He yeah. said, All right, I can work with that. Yeah. You know, really? uh, wow. chicks like him, let's uh, make right. a million bucks. Yeah. And, and they, they did. did. <laughs> All right. So, you know, you never saw much about the Sweat Hogs' home life, you had no idea. We never well, saw their parents, really, right. or, you know. True. But we did hear his mother's name, so I'm going to quiz you. This is very oh. hard. If we knew Vinnie Barbarino's mother's name, and oh. if you don't know it offhand, you're not going to know it. She was a saint. Yes. yes. She's she was a saint. Yes. Her name was Margie. Oh. Yes, yes. Awesome. Yes. Yes. So, I remember Epstein's mother. Not, we're not up to him yet. You know, we got to go in order. Okay. So That's next it. was Arnold Horshack, yeah. ah. played by... Ron, Ron Palillo. Oh, right. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, here's the funny thing. Does anybody know what his ma- middle name was? It was also his mother's uh, maiden name. Arnold. Dingfelder. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, he had a bunch of famous things, you know, his yeah. ooh ooh yes. ooh when he would raise yes. his hand and then he had something famous like laugh. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Was that him? Yes, yeah, yeah, that <laughs> yeah. was him, right? Yeah, right. right. And yeah. the laugh, can it can you yeah. do can you recreate the laugh? <laughs> <laughs> right? Was that it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Something like that. And I, I remember one of the, he was saying what his name means in Yiddish. Right. Uh, Arnold Horchak, it means the cattle are dying. <laughs> I remember that episode. He was trying to, it was Hatsi Tatsi. He was a lover. And that. he was explaining to her what, how he got his name. Uh, yeah. Nick is going to go home and Google the show <laughs> and watch nice. and He's going to have, uh, <laughs> what do they call that? Binge watch. Yes. Yes. All the episodes. Yes. All tonight. four seasons. So, uh, and next was Freddie Boom Boom Washington, Washington. played by great. Lawrence Hilton Mr. Jacobs Katta. the third. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Kata. He was Hi there. Athletic That's sweat hog. Yes. Yeah. Hi there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and did you know great. how he got his name Boom Boom? That was in a famous episode too. Oh, no, he said no. that it was from pretending to play the bass. Oh, boom, right, boom, right. Boom, right. Boom, oh. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and he had a brother, too, who was mentioned in a few episodes named Leroy. Oh. oh. Very, uh, I don't even remember that. Yeah, right? It's easy yeah. Right, right. And then, of course, there was Juan Epstein. Now, nobody knows what... He was played by Robert Hedges or yeah, Hedges, he, whatever. Right, right. He was great. Now, listen, I didn't even know this was his whole name. <laughs> yes, yeah, like seven Juan, different names. Uh. Juan Luis Pedro Filippo de Huevos <laughs> <laughs> Epstein. He was a Puerto Rican Jew. <laughs> yes. yes, the Puerto Rican Jew. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> and yes. his mother's maiden name was Biberman. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Signed Epstein's mother. Right, right. So he was a tough guy. He was always getting fights yeah. and stuff. And he would be out he sick or he'd be truant or whatever. And yeah. he would always come in with notes. And, yeah. Excuse my son. Signed Epstein's mother. <laughs> <laughs> so now that was genius. You know? It was yes. genius. That, um, that was good. I, yeah. And of course, uh, Vice Principal Woodman, played by uh, someone else. Sylvester White. John Sylvester White. Yes, very good. You know, and he hated Cotter and the Sweat Hogs. And he just wanted Cotter to control these kids until they dropped out. He was saying, Animals. Animals, Cotter. Animals. They're animals. Yeah. Until they're ready for prison, you know, just to control Oh, he, was the, he used to remind me of uh, Dr. Zayas from Planet of the Apes. Oh. Yeah. They looked very similar. <laughs> yeah, he was a hysterical he part was. of the show. Yeah, he you was. know okay. that there was a lot of controversy when the show first started because this was in the 70s, of course, which everything was terrible back at this point. Yeah. And um, <laughs> there was controversy because in Boston, they were in the middle of school busing. Oh, yes. And uh, they said, we're not showing this show. We This is an integrated cast. This is going to make things worse right. and all that. But the show became so popular that they had to break yeah. down and start showing yeah. it. It had nothing to do with busing either, <laughs> by the way. Right, right. right. But yeah. no, they were just saying because right. the, these guys were integrated and if people oh. wanted the schools oh, to be integrated. Okay. Boston was fighting it, all that oh. kind of stuff. Yeah. Right, right. So then... Um, and teachers had concerns about how Kata would be portrayed, so producers allowed a union rep on the set to ensure the show project- protected the image of teachers. And Gabe Kaplan opposed this idea, at one point asking a reporter if there was a junk man on the set of Sanford and Son to protect the reputation of junk men. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and I said, oh, that's brilliant. You know? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's a TV show, so... Uh, I think they did have a union too. Said, <laughs> yeah. Fred Sanford, that oh local twenty-one. God, uh, that Fred Sanford. Yeah, yeah. Was, do you realize he was forty-nine years old? <laughs> Red Fox was forty-nine years old when he filmed that. You know, he was supposed to look like he was like eighty years old. I, was I awesome. know. <laughs> yeah, and like you said, I, I think Lamont was uh, forty-seven, yes, right? Yeah, was really Lamont, his son, was a year younger than. Didn't and, he make sense? Right? And yeah. uh, what, what's her name? What's the uh, aunt? Aunt Esther. Oh, she, she was, was only twenty-nine was. at the time. <laughs> she was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Why don't you put your yeah. face in some dough and make gorilla cookies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, so we talked about uh, Hatsi Tatsi before. So this was very uh, weird mouth. interesting. Yes, that Rosalie Hatsi Tatsi yeah, was played by Deborah Lee Scott, who was a right. famous actress. Yes. And um, she was the femme fatale. She was supposed to put the sweat in Sweat Hog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, she was phased out in uh, season one. Uh, she got the role in Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. Oh. Oh, she's so, sister in that show. Right. So then yeah. she came back later on in 78, and it was an episode called The Return of Hatsi Tatsi. And it was revealed that she dropped out of school because she became pregnant and oh. had to become a stripper to support her wow. infant child. Oh, this show is so scandalous. Yes. Yeah. They don't make that? them like yeah. that anymore, Nick. You'll no. never see a show <laughs> yeah. like that. Poor Nick. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. That's yeah. not fair. That's so, good stuff. The show was a huge success. Action fictions, comic books, yes. lunch boxes, board games, yeah. you name it. Cards. Even the song, Cards. the I number remember. the theme song was number well, one hit. Yeah, oh, yeah. I still hear you know? it on the radio. And then but yeah. it, it wasn't all uh <laughs> that it was cracked up to be. The first two seasons were great. Yeah. All those were great, everything. Uh, but it started to go down. When John Travolta left. Yeah, he started making movies. Yeah. And then the entire writing staff was fired after season three and they brought in all these new characters. As soon as they start bringing in new characters, yeah. you know there's problems. Yeah, yeah. Like they brought that guy Bo in. Yeah, and then oh, the blonde guy he's right the yeah. Death, that, that oh, wasn't no, it's Ted not McGinley. Him. But yeah, no, he, no, he someone looks else. similar yeah, to the Yeah, he right. does. Yeah. To, and yeah, then um, the, shows. the Cotters actually had a baby, two babies, twins, that's baby oh, yeah, girls. That's right, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forget what they were called. Rachel and something. Uh, yeah, and, um, Rachel and Robin. Was it two? And then at the Horshack actually got married. They were setting him up to do a spinoff. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yeah, I heard that too. I don't even remember that yes, at all. Yeah, no, I, don't, I, don't I wonder if it took off. Yeah, no, yeah, I yeah. doubt it. Oh, but, they took it off. Yeah. <laughs> and then Welcome Back, Kata was eventually canceled. Yeah. And uh, the last show was in May 1979. But it was really, <laughs> the last show was probably 77, the last good one. I was going to say, the yeah. show was only yeah. really good for two years. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it was so good, like when I was a kid. Like, yeah, I yeah. I wait oh to get God. home to watch, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was, uh, that was a biggie. Up nose with a rubber Yeah, hose. that was the big expression. Yeah. Up yes, nose with yes. a rubber hose. Yes. And then, um, yeah, so actually there might have been a curse on the show because most of the cast has passed away since then. Yeah. That Ron Palillo and Robert Hedges died in 2012. Oh. Marsha Strassman in 2014. John Sylvester White in 1988. Wow. Yeah, he was 100. Right, and yeah. Deborah Lee Scott in 2005. Hotsy Totsy. Hotsy Totsy died? Yep, yep, yep. Horshack was my friend on Facebook. Really? Yeah, and he would private. He was awesome. He was like such a sweet guy. Oh, and man. Really, I, at least, maybe it wasn't him. Maybe it was some girl. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it was yeah. yeah. I but I think it was him. He was just very nice, very nice guy. Now yeah. it's time to get to the John Travolta section of the show, and we're going to talk about this awesome album. And Stephen noticed I sent him a picture of it. But this album I just got recently. I ordered right. it online. Look at him. Oh my god! That it came from a library in Saginaw, Michigan. And that uh, back then, can you still get, well, they don't make albums anymore, but can yeah. you still get some sort of music? Uh, you can get anything you want in a library, I believe. I, I had this album. <laughs> I just want to let you know that Chacha <laughs> says she's had every album that we've I, ever done, and really? I've yet to see her produce That's one. Not true. That That's not one true. time, Jackson one time she said, oh, they got ruined in the flood. So I oh, went yeah. over to a house, and we looked at the albums, and there was one Prince album laying in a puddle oh, there. And that was it. She had one album, that's Purple Rain. True. That's it. That's and yet true. she claims she's had every I album had ever every recorded. I had every Jackson Brown album. I had oh. every John Travolta album. I know. Every one. Did he have more than this yeah, one? Yeah, he had moment by moment. Oh, man. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Produced by uh, <laughs> on the Decca label. Don't mess with me. <laughs> so this is pretty awesome that it was, uh, mm, it was, it was no longer... <laughs> property of it though they stamped on here no everywhere you look it's stamped no longer <laughs> oh no longer no property longer property of the, of the Saginaw Michigan Public Library oh, why would they because tell anybody that? because if it, if it didn't say that I could be arrested for showing this right oh, now that Mr. Bookman uh, would have been arresting me the uh, library police would come <laughs> after me Bookman. yeah wasn't there a library that was from uh, Seinfeld I thought it was good times no, there was another oh, guy, yes, but the, yes, the, the library guy, yes. cop on oh, yeah, 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 Seinfeld yeah, yeah. was yeah. Mr. Bookman. Listen to <laughs> Funny boy. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, this album, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I actually listened to it last night. <laughs> oh, wow. I heard you laughing hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were doing? Oh. I try to put a positive spin on things. Yes, yes. But <laughs> <laughs> Some good can. must come from <laughs> that. The song "Letter In" is off of here, and it was a number one, top ten smash. It wasn't number one, but it was top ten all over the world, and it was a big seller. And ten-year-old uh, girls like Cha Cha loved it, but a cool kid oh, like myself would have oh, never yeah, listened to this. Yeah. Cool. That I was listening to the Ramones at this point and <laughs> Elvin Bishop. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but it, it you know they have songs on here written by Neil Sedaka, Felix Cavallari oh. of the Rascals, Eric Carmen. But (laughs) 
<laughs> it's good for. Uh, they wrote um, those songs for John Travolta. No, no, no. He oh, just okay. did. Uh, yeah, uh, right. Uh, okay. <laughs> so um, you know, it's good for. Uh, I guess uh, retro uh, yes, reasonings. Absolutely. It's good. I like to own it because it's a piece of history, and it's good for my collection. And wait till you smell it. It's uh, it's nose delicious, as nice. Neil Sedaka once said. Neil Sedaka was on American Idol, and he was one of the judges just for that episode. He was like the mentor. And he, one guy sang really good, and he said to him, you are ear delicious. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah, you could use that for nose delicious yes, as well. Absolutely. So feel free to use that anytime yeah. you want. I think Klinger from MASH made up the nose delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's, let's talk about John Travolta, that he was born in Inglewood, New Jersey, yeah. in 1954. Oh, wow. And uh, he he was, of course, on Welcome Back, Cotter, but he started to get a lot of movie roles. He was in Carrie, you remember that? Yes. The movie when oh, they, yes. He was involved in dumping the yes. pig blood yeah. on Paul yeah, Carey, and then um, that's when terrible. he went. His first movie was Saturday Night Fever, which was ridiculously huge success, yeah. the oh biggest God. movie of the those that time, I think. And then right after that, he followed up with Grease, the yeah. second biggest movie of the year, yeah. and two of Cha Cha's top ten movies. It's really it's, it's uh, true. Grease, Saturday Night Fever, and Gone with the Wind. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's into them. That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, and then uh, number four is Urban Cowboy. Also, wow, that's yeah. Chacha's top four movie. That's an awesome movie. It, yeah, that one's that's pretty good. Ri- yeah. What's Moment by Moment? I don't think I ever saw that. Moment by Moment was a movie he did with Lily Tomlin, and you can't forget. Boy, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's so, where I'm going okay, next. Uh, <laughs> See, I only asked about Moment by Moment. You moment cannot take moment. liberties. <laughs> and on my show, when I have a strict uh, this is, regimen this to is follow, my show too. so you see, you I have this agenda too. here. So, all right. So, are you finished? Yes. Okay, so, he did, made a movie with Lily Tomlin. Speaking of moment and, by moment, yeah. let's talk about something completely different that you have on your agenda for later on. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, tell us about Moment by Moment. What really is remember. that? I don't it was know. him and Lily like, Tomlin. Yeah, and they, like, I think that's she so terrible. She fell in love with him. I forget. Yeah, I forget. she was much older and much yeah. worse looking. And, yeah, and it, you know. <laughs> they kind of looked alike, but in a bad and I way. I think, yes. you know, that was the premise, that she was an older woman. And but had they way. picked Lily Tomlin to do this? I don't know. She wasn't even an actress. Was, she was a, well, no, she became an actress, too, because it's the easiest job in the world, as as I've often said. So, anyway. <laughs> um, then, oh, he was dating some woman who Diana died. Diana Island. Right, who was much, Eight much older than mother. That's it. I knew it. There was a, that oh, John Travolta right. was dating she a woman who, he was 22. She was like 42. Yeah. I and still say that was a scam. 42 but. was 42 back in 76. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. like uh, today's uh, numbers. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Women lived hard back then. That <laughs> Once you hit 40 back in 76, that was when it. When you hit 35, nah. you hit hard. Yeah, like yeah. Anesta. She was yeah, 29. Right. Exactly. Look at her. Red so anyway, yeah, so tragically, though, uh, yes. Diana Highland died yeah. uh, when they were together, right? Yes. Oh. So yes. Yeah, there you go. But... Um, and, what? Go ahead. Can we talk about Yes, now we got to talk about his, the, his masterpiece. That's the how best, they met. The yeah. best. Uh, oh, 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 that's how? Oh, okay. She was in that movie with him. So she played his mother. He did a TV oh. movie. It was a TV movie called The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. Thank you. And have to Google it. was the greatest that. movie yeah. ever Nick, made. This is my loved, top ten. Yeah, I love I that movie I have Boy in the Plastic Bubble, then Goodfellas, and The Godfather. <laughs> that, those are my yeah. three top ten. That he had some immune disease yes. or whatever, right? So they put him in a bubble. <laughs> and then the best lived part. In a bubble. Yeah, yeah. And the best part came later on when they invented a suit for him yes. so that he could go outside. Yes. And he put this bubble suit on. Right, right. <laughs> and he's like, like he, going to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a girlfriend or something, and like that's why they, he wanted to get out. Right, and they yeah. started smooching, and she popped his bubble or something. <laughs> I, don't I don't know if that happened. <laughs> I think it did because he had to like run <laughs> home quick oh, before he died. Oh, remember he challenged that kid to the push-up contest? I don't even remember that part. Yeah, yes. And then he, oh. he ran out of air or something. Oh, yeah. I thought yeah. that he got <laughs> excited. <laughs> he got excited and it popped his bubble. <laughs> Way before Viagra, everything like that. Yeah, so that was the creme de la creme for me. That yeah, is, I, I know, love that movie. And I don't even know when did that come into play. Uh, like, what order did that come in? That had to was be that early? That had to be early, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe 
right after or during Welcome I would, Back? Conrad? I would say Welcome Back during, but yeah. it had to be before Saturday Night Fever. Oh, no, okay, all right. Oh God! So now yes. we got it in here. After, so and then you know you go from Lily Tomlin to Kelly <laughs> Preston. Yeah. <laughs> after, you know, come on. And so, don't forget Staying Alive. He did Staying no, Alive. No, I will not address that. It was oh. one of the worst movies ever made. <laughs> yeah, I will not right, address. Right. Actually, I'm not going to address any movie after. I reluctantly addressed moment by moment because mm. I wasn't sure what it was. But after Urban Cowboy, he mm. was off the charts. He every movie he made was terrible for the entire eighties. He made talking baby movies. Oh yeah. Um, Those were good. Terrible. No. Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> they were good, but Christy Alley, they were fine. Yeah. They were good. But anyway, he made these greatest movies in the world, then he like fell off the face of the yes. earth. Made these terrible right, movies right. until Ah oh, yes. What's his name? Made Pulp Quentin Fiction. Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino, right? Put him in Pulp Fiction, and he was I absolutely yeah. fantabulous in yes. that movie. I was so happy. Yes, and now that yeah. is really one of my favorite awesome movies. Again. Yeah. That's yeah, a yeah, great yeah. movie. Yes, so now mm -hmm. shot him back to the charts, yeah, it did. top of the charts, and, then and he, he made Michael. great movies after that. Yes. Yeah, yes. and uh, Get Shorty and uh, all right, these movies. Right. And so, of course, in his personal life, he is a known Scientologist. Yes. Yes. A lot of controversy around yeah. Scientology in the news with Leah Remini now. Right. Yeah, I don't even understand it. So supposedly, yeah, yeah keeps him out of trouble and separates families. Yeah, and, what are you gonna do? I, I, and yeah. he he had a uh, tragedy in his life. His yeah. son yeah. actually died. Yeah, that so that yeah. was very sad. He's I'm not sure what happened with that. Yeah, Jet, yeah. Right. And Jet. he's he's also a famous pilot. Yeah. Right. And he's that, very accomplished. That's it. It's all I know. I I'm mean, gonna smell this album now I while you talk. I loved him. He was. My first, uh, I mean, I was obsessed. This with may him. be the but best smelling not, album right? I've ever had. Check that yeah. out. You can so, smell the Great Lakes of Michigan in that album. Wow. Yeah, see? That's, That's good. I cleared my sinuses yes, right up. Yes. It's like I'm going to say my favorite John Travolta it? song off of this album is Let Her In. <laughs> <laughs> what were the other ones? The covers of. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh so right. his mom was an actress too, and she was a singer back in the 30s. Oh. And then, she was an actress. And she was in like in a singing group back in the 30s. So oh. he uh, dedicated this song to you Dream a Little Dream. You know oh. that song? He does that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it, it's, it's so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't even imagine. So take us out with a joke, Steve. Okay. And, uh, before we wrap this all up. Here's one I remember from probably 1978 or something. No, no. We want a joke from 1976. 76. Well, <laughs> the first season. It was yeah. definitely from the first right, season. Right, right. Okay, there you go. So, as you know, he used to tell a joke at the end of every <laughs> right, show. Right, right, right. Mr. Carter. So, he tells Julie, um, there was a guy. <clears throat> all right, you're running it already. He's a, he's, <laughs> he hears a knock at the door. He goes to the door and they say, Mr. Weinstein, uh, I have a telegram for you. And he's like, a telegram? Look, can you do me a favor? Can you please sing this telegram? He goes, I don't know if I want to sing this telegram. He says, look, I'm 98 years old. I, I, I don't have too much in life. All I want is to hear a singing telegram before I die. The guy says, okay. Your sister Rose is dead. <laughs> they said she died in bed. She was really great, but she was 88. So your sister Rose is dead. That was it. <laughs> Oh, so that was a great one. That was definitely from 76. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there you go. We are wrapping up this show. Thanks for joining us here on Live and Dennis's House. Only at 474 The Mix, where the music matters. See you next week. Blah, blah, blah. Facebook, social media, DennisMorgello.com. Last week I said MadhouseMorgello.com. <laughs> but it's really MadhouseMagazine.com. All social media. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right. We're done. Awesome. Cheers. Yeah. Bye.